Okay. What are we talking about? What's up, my friends? My name is Honest, and I love making DIY stuff. But today, I'll be showing you how to make a simple but cute DIY hoodie. It's really beginner friendly. I'm gonna be using really basic stitches. I'll be first showing you how to make a lettered hoodie and also a cute little flower embroidery design as well. I literally just embroider for a couple of hours just watching my favorite YouTube videos or k dramas. So if you're interested in making a hoodie, just keep watching. For this project, you're going to need some embroidery thread, scissors, an embroidery hoop, fabric stabilizer, a needle, and then whatever clothing item you want the design on. To start off the lavender pattern, I did a rough sketch of the flower structure to get a good picture of where I wanted the design to be. I cut out a piece of fabric stabilizer that matched the size of my design, and I flipped the sweater inside out to iron that on. You want to make sure here to iron the rough side of the fabric down onto the sweater. I went ahead and secured the embroidery hoop and screwed it on really tight to make sure it stays in place. Then I took some thread and pulled out enough string so that I don't have to keep threading my needle because you know, your girl be having some long long nails. In the video, I actually split my thread into two groups of three, but I found that using all six strands gave it a really nice 3D puffy effect that I liked. Secure the end of the string and I used three knots just in case. To create the lavender petals, I'm using a Lazy Daisy stitch, which looks complicated, but I promise you, it's not that bad with a little bit of practice. I start off the base of the petal by inserting the needle right next to the point that I started with to create a small loop. Then I pull out the needle and loop it through. Then all you gotta do is secure the loop down and that's it. I ended up doing groups of three petals all the way down and continued that for the rest of the lavender flowers. For the stem, I used a basic stitch and you can pretty much see what I'm doing here. I pull out the needle around 2 centimeters out, then complete the stitch at the base of the flower. I do the same for the next stitch, 2 centimeters out, and then close the stitch where it meets the last stitch. I kept going until the very end of my stem and repeated that to create an effect to make it look like a bunch of flowers. Not like, you know, three separate floating flowers if you know what I mean. I didn't want to just have the lavenders by itself, so I decided to add a few stems using the same basic stitch. Next, I wanted to add some pretty little sun dots around the flowers, so all you need to do is wrap the thread three times around the needle and insert it back where you started. Make sure to hold the string down to keep it taut when you're tightening the knot. I also switched to a different shade of yellow to spice it up, but that's totally not necessary, I just love being extra. Once you have all the dots where you want them, that is it for this design. So yeah, that's how I made the first sweater. I thought it came out really well and it only took me like, what, an hour? I literally just binged my favorite YouTubers, my favorite DIY YouTubers. I gave this one to my friend. Um, I don't know if she likes lavenders, but I thought it was cute. I wear my hoodie literally every day. No one needs to know that. For this lettering, I used my iPad to sketch out the look first. For the actual letters, I imported a font and then added a few accent lines around it to give it an extra little touch. I was making this sweater for my friend who is an Ariana Grande stan, so I thought POV would be perfect for this one. Then I printed it out and pinned it onto the sweater to start poking some holes with the needle. Once I finished that, I took a felted pen and started making the dots to create an outline. You can also use an invisible marker if you have one, which is a great option, but I didn't have one, so I went with the felt tip one. I do the same thing, secure the embroidery hoop, and then get to stitching. I found that using a basic stitch to align the letters helps give a good guide of where to start and end the stitch. So I went ahead and did that for the entire letter. To fill the letter in, I used a satin stitch because I think it looks best and all you need to do is pull out the needle from one side and back down horizontally to the opposite side. This does take a little bit longer than the lavender design because you're filling in way more surface area, but I like watching YouTube or Netflix just to pass the time. So if you run a thread, what I like to do is anchor my string to another stitch. So all you need to do is thread it through back and forth and secure it with a knot at the very end. 
The final part is to fill in the accent lines and you're gonna do the same satin stitch except make teeny tiny loops to create a line all the way down. I wanted the sweater to look really clean and crisp around the design so I ironed it again to press everything nice and flat. And that's it my friends! I was low-key surprised at how good this came out because I was unsure that my lines would be straight, but y'alls, this color scheme and the lettering really came through. So that is it for this video, y'all. I hope you liked it. I really had fun making these and making this video. I just hope this video was helpful, maybe a little fun activity to do during quarantine. Let me know if you like this video, if you want to see more DIY tutorials, and I'll see you next time. Bye!